Hi everyone, my name is Matt, and before I tell you about this paper, I want to particularly call out Nikunj, who has been leading this project for over a year now and has done a great job pushing this forward. He's recently left his job in India as a uh, data scientist and will be joining NYU in the fall as a master's student. I'll also point out that Nikunj, an undergraduate student in India, has also been instrumental in this project. On to the paper. Today, I'll be talking about the Heterogeneous Agents Mastering Messaging to Enhance Reinforcement Learning, which just happens to have the acronym HAMMER. And we'll talk about how this HAMMER algorithm allows reinforcement learning agents without a whole lot of abilities to send messages to one central agent with more abilities. And then that central agent can learn to then send messages back to those individual agents so that the team of agents can perform well. So first we'll have the introduction and then talk about the setting, our algorithm, our results, the conclusion, and the future work. So in this setting, we're going to be very focused on cooperative multi-agent reinforcement learning. So we have a number of agents that are working together to achieve some shared goal. So this project started because Nikunj was thinking about a cooperative warehouse. So he was thinking about how there could be many agents that are going around a warehouse and they really don't have a whole lot of sensing, but they are able to send messages up to some central agent, maybe on the ceiling, that's able to get messages from all the agents and figure out what to do with that. So when you think about communication, this could be for agent to agent communication. So you could think about, again, going back to the warehouse, think about these agents that are directly talking to each other and sharing information, maybe low level information or high level information. But what if they don't know where the other agents are? And since they have a low power directed antenna, maybe they can't directly communicate with each other. And it might be much easier to communicate with that central agent. The goal here is to talk about multi-level communication where the agents, individual agents send their messages and then this higher level agent is able to learn to send the right pieces of information to all of these small limited capability agents. So like I was saying, consider the warehouse setting where you've got lots of these agents and assume they can't communicate with each other and that there's one centralized agent. And that agent couldn't necessarily figure out exactly what action each individual agent should take, but we argue that it would be easier for that agent to learn to communicate something to those small local agents so that the local agents could figure out and learn how to act on their own. What Hammer does is take all of these local agents' observations and then the high level agent figures out what messages to send to those low level agents. So here is the one key slide of this talk. This is the hammer framework. So we see that we have a number of these independent local agents and they don't have a whole lot of compute. They're fairly limited. So they can get their local observations from the environment and they could take an action and they can all get the rewards like normal. What makes this different is we say that the local agents are able to send their observations. So the agents send their observations to this global agent and the global agent based on those observations and the team reward learns how to send a message to each of the local agents. And this will allow the global agent to basically supplement what the local agents can see so that the local agents can make better decisions. In this paper, we considered multiple ways of doing this. The base algorithm used PPO and all the agents learned using local rewards. And we're able to show that the central agent was able to learn messages that helped the local agents perform better. Then we said, well, let's, in addition to letting the local agents send observations, what if they also sent gradients back? 
So now the central agent can learn not only from the team reward, but also from the gradients that the individual local agents are sending back. And as we were hoping, if you enable this extra amount of communication, learning is better. And then the third version was doing some pre-processing so that we could better discretize the central agent's messages. Why do we want to do that? I'll get, to that, get back to that in a sec. The main environment in this study was the cooperative navigation environment. There are some landmarks. The agents need to each go and cover one of the landmarks. This is really the key result of the paper. In this cooperative navigation tasks, the agents could just have a centralized learner. And that centralized learner really doesn't do very well because it's not a trivial task when you have multiple agents. Now, you could have independent learners, and you could have independent learners with random messages. Neither of those do very well. But then our ha hammer algorithm works better. So we can see that, you know, like a normal RL paper, our algorithm has lines above the other lines. So that's a win, right? Well, then we spent some time trying to figure out why this works and where it could work better. One additional study look at, looked at modifying the environment so that the agents couldn't see each other at all. So now you're really going to need that extra help to try to help, help the individual agents figure out where, where the other agents are so that they don't run into each other. We also considered the case where there were heterogeneous local agents. One of the agents was completely blind and the other two had observations. And again, Hammer worked better, like you'd expect. So the take home message is we have this algorithm called Hammer and it's able to let low powered agents send their observations to a higher powered agent that can munge those in, uh, observations together and figure out what to tell all of the local agents. Our results showed that communication we learned is much better than random communication, otherwise there'd be a problem. We showed that it generalizes to different kinds of local agents, and we also showed results on a second domain, the multi-agent walker from OpenAI Gym. Of course, we want to apply this to other environments like StarCraft or Smarts. Smarts is a recent simulator released that is a multi-agent driving, autonomous driving simulator. We could have more complex hierarchy. So if we could have one central agent wasn't enough to handle the entire warehouse, well, we could probably partition that out. What I'm really interested in is trying to figure out what the heck Hammer's saying. This is a question asked by multiple reviewers, and the quick answer is we don't know. We do have a number of ideas on how to figure this out, however, and one of the ways we might do that is by actually sending discrete messages. In this work, we sent by and large, real valued messages. But we think that if we can better, if we can actually just send bits, it'll be much easier to understand what the central agent is doing. And my hope is that by better understanding what Hammer is learning to communicate, we'll not only be able to understand the algorithm better, but also be able to improve it. The final thing I'll mention is that we could also consider cases where the communication is not free. And what we would hope to see is that Hammer learns to send more messages when the communication is free and send fewer messages, focusing on the most impactful ones when the cost of messages are higher. But that is something we have yet to confirm. So to finish up, I want to acknowledge that professors at IIT Bangalore and the researcher X Erickson was one of the main original people who suggested this line of research and Nikunj was kind enough to, to thank the IRL team. So with that, I'll say I'm happy to answer questions during the ALA conference. And if I can't answer them, I'm sure Nikunj will. Thanks, everyone.